All the forecasts are in, so it's time for the winter weather forecast comparison 2016-2017. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and here's how this works. Everybody issues what they think is going to happen in December, January, and February. We look at all of them, compare, contrast, and try to glean a few nuggets of what we can expect during these winter months ahead of us. So here are the players in this year's showdown. We have the Climate Prediction Center, AccuWeather, the Weather Channel, Farmer's Almanac, and the Old Farmer's Almanac. We're going to go through region by region. First up is the Northeast. One organization, the Climate Prediction Center, is going with milder conditions for parts of Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Everybody else, a pretty seasonable winter on tap. The four other organizations, however, going with a colder winter. AccuWeather goes as far as to say frequent storms, and the Farmer's Almanac is saying snow-filled. In the southeast, four out of five are saying mild. All but one is also going with drier conditions. The Old Farmer's Almanac says Florida is going to be wet. The Farmer's Almanac is saying the complete opposite of what everyone else is saying. Penetrating cold and very wet. In the Midwest, three organizations, the Climate Prediction Center, AccuWeather, and the Old Farmer's Almanac all agree the Midwest is going to be mild and the upper Midwest does begin to get a little bit colder. The Weather Channel is saying near or slightly above average temperatures for everyone and the Farmer's Almanac is just going with plain numbing cold and snowy. But I have to say everyone does agree on additional snow around the Great Lakes region. Moving to the Northern Plains, three organizations, the Climate Prediction Center, Farmer's Almanac, and AccuWeather are saying colder with additional snow. The Weather Channel is going with warmer conditions, and the Old Farmer's Almanac is saying cold and snowy in Montana and North Dakota, but warming and drier farther to the south. In the Southern Plains, four out of five organizations are saying warmer, drier conditions, but the Farmer's Almanac going with the complete opposite of chilled to the bone and wet. In the Southwest, nearly everyone agrees it's going to be warm and dry. The Old Farmer's Almanac does get a little cooler near the California coast, however, and the Farmer's Almanac going with warm and wet. In the Northwest, additional precipitation is what everyone is saying. Three out of five organizations, AccuWeather, Farmer's Almanac, and the Weather Channel are saying mild and stormy. The Climate Prediction Center is saying seasonable and wet, and the Old Farmer's Almanac is saying colder with some additional snow. So that is what everyone is thinking for the upcoming winter. It looks like across the south, that is the southwest, the southern plains, and the southeast, it's going to be a little milder and more than likely drier than what we're used to seeing during the winter time. The northeast, a pretty typical winter, maybe one or two fewer nor'easters than what we're used to seeing. The midwest gets a little hairy as well with a pretty typical winter, but maybe a few more snow showers if you're close to the Great Lakes and used to getting some extra lake effect snow. In the northern plains, looks like it's going to be colder and snowier there for you so bundle up get ready and in the northwest it's usually pretty rainy in the winter there anyway but it looks like some additional rain is going to be heading your way if you're in that part of the country thank you for watching this video if you liked it head to our youtube channel be sure to subscribe and you can check out plenty of more videos just like this one